Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel is to promote home cooking that is simple, practical, efficient, creative, and fun uh, so that you can cook every day uh, using a cooking system that I have developed. I call it the Fast Cooking System. Uh, the word FAST is the acronym of the four attributes of this cooking system, uh, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. And when you combine these four attributes, uh, you can cook a meal from scratch, use all fresh ingredients in less than 30 minutes. Home cooking is critical in our modern lifestyle because through home cooking, it is an investment of your long-term health. And when you use my fast cooking system, you will be able to continue to improve the flavor of your food. And you will see more possibilities and you become creative in the kitchen. And this is what I have done in the past five years after I developed my cooking system. I look forward to cook each evening. I have developed an environment that will allow me continue to improve my cooking. And I truly believe, ultimately, it is not the recipes that make you a better cook. It is the template that will make you a better cook. And this is the reason why template-based cooking is a key attribute of my cooking system. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a template for cooking tofu, which is very simple, and it will allow you to modify uh, in any way that you want. Uh, once you understand and appreciate the significant aspects of the template, uh, you can create the tofu dish exactly how you like it. A uh, Tofu is one of those food ingredients that are well known for the love-hate relationship. Uh, people who love tofu uh, could not have enough of them. Whereas people who hate tofu do not want to have anything to do with them. I discovered the result actually could be quite simple. It depends on how the tofu is being prepared and cooked. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the key factors that I believe contribute uh, to the nature of a tofu dish to be like or dislike. And most of the tofu that you purchased in a supermarket uh, comes in a block. Uh, so you need to cut them up. And the first question is that how small should you cut them? And what is the best shape? And it turned out that the best way to cut them is to cut them into small cubes. But how big should you cut them? It turned out that you should not cut them too small or too large. And the best size shown to be is somewhere between one inch to half inch cube. Because if they are too large, uh, then they become monotonous when you eat them. And if they are too small, they will get lost in the dish and you will not be able to enjoy them. So the best size is that they can carry the flavor of the dish, but still uh, they will be noticeable and just the right size. Uh, to make this dish as simple as possible, uh, I'm going to use some frozen edamame and frozen sweet corn uh, to cook with the tofu. Uh, so for this dish, there's essentially very little prepping. The only thing you need to prep is to open up the package of tofu and cut them into the size that you want. The frozen corn and the frozen edamame can go directly to the wok from the freezer. So this is literally a dish that you can cook in 10 minutes from start to finish. And because of this simplicity, uh, one of my friends, Mary, uh, cooked this dish quite often, uh, particularly when she is in a hurry. I'm going to cook this dish in my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok, uh, starting with 2 tablespoons of canola oil. I'm not going to spot season the wok as I normally do uh, when I start with each new cooking session. And because the nature of this cooking session uh, would not lead to anything that might stick and burn to the bottom of the wok. Uh, so as soon as the oil heated up, I start to cook right away. I'm going to start with one tablespoon of fermented black soybean. I'm going to saute it briefly. 
Uh, this is part of my flavor chasing because I like that flavor, but you can skip it. And if you have not tried before, uh, you can give it a try. Uh, they are available on Amazon. My wife really enjoyed them and they go very well with tofu. I add approximately one tablespoon of minced garlic. Uh, these garlic are pre-minced uh, so that they are very convenient. I then add one cup of frozen edamame in combination of frozen sweet corns. Uh, they go directly from the freezer to the wok. I discovered that this is much better than thawing them out in advance, say in a microwave oven. Uh, this approach maintains the texture as well as the flavor of this frozen vegetable better. Uh, since they are already cooked, all I need to do is to warm them up to the serving temperature. After stir frying them for about 30 seconds, I add some hot chili pepper flakes. Uh, this dish is a variation of the traditional Chinese Mapo tofu, uh, which is spicy. I find that the hot chili pepper flake provides the best way uh, to create the spicy flavor of the dish. Uh, this is then followed by adding the tofu to the wok. Uh, the tofu that I use to cook this dish are firm tofu. Uh, you can use extra firm tofu as well, uh, depending on your preference. Uh, but you should not use soft tofu uh, because they tend to break up when you stir fry them. In cooking this dish, you want the tofu to stay as intact as possible. Uh, so when I stir fry with the wok spatula, I tend to be as gentle as possible. I use many a turning motion to toss the tofu in the wok. I season the tofu first with some basic seasoning mix that I have created. At this seasoning mix, uh, I intend to help to enhance the natural flavor of the edamame and the sweet corn. Uh, this is followed by about a quarter teaspoon of sesame oil. And then I finish the seasoning with a combination of two tablespoons of oyster sauce with half tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Uh, there are infinite varieties of how you will season this dish. And each time I season this dish slightly differently based on my past experience and what I want to achieve later on. Uh, this is a good example of flavor chasing. At this point, I would like to make a light sauce, so I'm going to add a small amount of water from my water squeeze bottle. Again, there's a lot of flexibility uh, depending on how you would like the consistency of the dish by adding the amount of water that you desire. After a quick taste test, I decided that first I like to have a little bit more color to the dish, and secondly, I like it to be a little bit more saltier. So I add about uh, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. So with a few quick mix, the dish is ready to serve. Uh, the total cook time of this dish is about eight minutes. So this dish is an example of what I want to achieve with my fast cooking system. I do not want to spend more than 10 minutes to cook each of my dishes. If this is the only dish that you are going to cook, you can have a meal on the table in 10 minutes. There's no prepping for this dish other than cutting up the tofu. Uh, you can make number of substitutions in cooking this dish. For example, you can substitute the frozen edamame and the frozen sweet corn uh, with frozen vegetables such as frozen broccoli. And you can adjust the seasoning to whatever way that you want. Uh, finally, I garnish the dish with some scallions uh, to give some color to the dish, but this is completely optional. Again, this dish is extremely simple to cook. Uh, if you are new to my cooking system, this could be a dish that you want to try out first. Also, if you are new to cooking tofu, uh, this will be a way for you to get acquainted in how to cook tofu and decide how you like it. Uh, since the time investment in cooking this dish is very small, uh, you can give it a try and decide whether you like it or not. Again, home cooking is all about diversity. By adding a dish like this will greatly expand your repertoire. 
and my goal is to make home cooking as part of your daily routine that is practical, efficient, creative, and fun. And if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.